So I've been fighting Skybreeze way out of sex trafficking. Uh, they were keeping her at a hotel. Um, what I've come to determine is that it's a bunch of Mexicans who run California. And as of now, what they're doing is they basically, I pressured them until they were finally like, okay, fine. We'll put her in a house somewhere with some people her own age, which they didn't say that, but they just, it was, what they did was they stuck her in there with some Mexicans and the whole point of it was as soon as, as soon as I came in the picture with Sky Breeze, so the first thing that they posted on her OnlyFans page was her having sex with a Mexican and it was said, we have chemistry or something like that. And then the voice was constantly saying, the voice was constantly saying Mexicans weren't in my life until you came into it. Uh, as well with Nick Nair Cena, um, there was, uh, he came in the picture as soon as I came in the picture. So here's the deal. These people, Mexican people, they're a little more primitive than the Anglo-Saxon people. This is what the story of Jacob and Esau is about. This is what, you know, as you evolve, you lose hair. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, it's basically, so, okay. So their thing isn't her, their thing is like, they want her to like it. You know what I'm saying? So if she don't like it, then yeah, she'll get it anyways. <sighs> At this point, I've just been pissing them off. They backed off and then it was, I posted some shit like, oh, look, um, all the shit that I'm going to do with the government because I could see that the, I just felt like just the way these people conducted themselves it might be some kind of white collar class of people just, I was on my medication. I just, I had to go off my medication. I'm like, this isn't helping. What they did was they, they had her start flirting with this nerd, this Mexican nerd all the time, putting that in my face. It was like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Mexicans rule, man. You know what I'm saying? So, ugh. anyway, so. See, I have all this stuff written down. Um, okay, so I came by the hotel, and I found, like I said, I found her in that hotel over there, uh, being kept in there by the sex traffickers. And there is some kind of telepathic shit going on. It has to do with how the government tried to kill me, use intuition to evade the assassination attempts, and then have ringing in my ears. And then anytime. I engage romantically. I never did actually engage with her. I just resided in that area. And so what I've come to understand is that it has to do with a distress signal that goes out when rape occurs when tribes invade other tribes. So it's basically like come home and defend the tribe or, you know, before collapse occurs. It's So anytime rape comes from a, a mysterious source, then sometimes I run into this kind of situation with women where we can talk to each other telepathically. Um, so let's see, there was something else that, so they did this with him, uh, where he was, or he was, you know, so there's a post with her and Nick Nair, has like 2 million views where he's saying we have chemistry and looking from the outside in pretty much looks normal. I get it. You know what I'm saying? The, the problem is, is that you know, like I said, when I went by that hotel, she was over and I heard her in there and the, she was shrieking those telepathic messages to somebody. She was scared. And it could have been just because women don't like hearing all the like craziness that goes on inside of a manic person's brain. So probably wasn't enjoying that very much. Who knows exactly what scared her? That can scare her, I can tell you, because we communicate telepathically quite often. So, but... One of the things that she was shrieking was Mexicans, Mexicans, like intermingled with the telepathic messaging uh, was shrieking statements about Mexicans, Mexicans, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's, 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 it's a neon and then it's, and then it's, you know, uh, Aiden Ross who looks like, well, he's in, who's a Mexican and then, or it's Nick Narasena who's a Mexican and they're just trying <sighs> I, I didn't like what I saw with neon stuff. Like somebody's trying to fuck with me. 
I didn't understand what was happening at that time. And then I, and then, so I went off my medication, posted all kinds of shit on my page, got manic, posted all kinds of shit on my page and then linking shit from her page to my page. And then they went and read some of the shit on my page. And I was like, I think some of this shit was like, you know, some kind of intuition that she like one of these motherfuckers going to turn to a stalker. I lost my mind about it, but that led me to finding out that, Oh, wait a second. This is forced shit. Because then there was a dude in the room. The thing is, the dude brought her over where I was at. Who knows what their whole thinking was? But she, I basically told her, look, I can fight your way out of this. But then as soon as I do, then you're just going to wind up with this. And the problem was that dude was in my head. So that wasn't actually a real concern. But I was just picking up on all this crazy shit. Who even knows what I was picking up on at that point? I think my mind was unraveling. But she was like, you know, I'm not going to do that. And this is so hard. And then cried super hard. And that's when the dude was like, you know, I said something. He's like, be mean to... They, I think at that point, basically just alarmed. Because, hey, we brought her over here. And now incriminating shit is coming out of it. Okay? So the problem with victims of sexual like trafficking and stuff like that, it's hard for them to, it's like the end of the movie Message from the King, where you see that guy's raping that kid on video, and then he's like, he's like, okay, time to leave, and the kid's like, no, you know what I mean? And obviously this kid doesn't like being raped by an old man. He's like, I bought him for this, and, and then, so, I don't understand that. But what I have come to understand is it's just, it's a big statement about, it's a big statement about, you know, Mexicans rule, you know what I mean? And honestly, I hate to say it, but it's, it's like almost, it's almost comical because they find like the cream of the crop Mexicans that they can even find. It's like, if we can just get her to like that, you know what I mean? We won guys, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's like. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what to make of it. It's not good because obviously and she sends me stuff like they posted it like with her saying, Oh yeah, we're gonna sleep together tonight and, and, and you're gonna stay in my room and then she sends me pictures like showing that oh actually we're not in the same room together. That's posted on one of my videos. And then <clears throat> and it, it's just and then, it, and then they post a video, it looks like somebody gave her a roofie. And she's like, he always initiates it. You know what I mean? So, took her to Mexico. It's just, I'm just doing what the aliens told me to do at this point. And, and, and this is part of my crucifixion. So, partly I'm getting screwed. But partly you can see how they're working her way out of it. You know what I mean? And then it's just like, it's like, it's helping, but they're not going about it. They're not giving us a direct path out. You know what I mean? They're like, well, yeah, but I mean, we're going to kick the shit out of you on your way out. And it could be that that's just the best way to do it. You know what I mean? These aliens, they have an agenda. You know what I mean? It's not to cause problems, but at the same time, it is to cause problems inside of my head. <laughs>